Hello stationery friends! Welcome to Ginger Peachy Pins. Um, if you're new here, my name is Sarah and today I want to unbox a new Twisby Eco. Um, every time I get another Twisby Eco I think, okay I think I have enough, I don't think I need the next one. And then uh, once in a while another color comes out that I can't resist. So this time, I've already taken the little side stickers off because those can be uh, a little challenging. This is the Twisby Eco Heat. Um, I have been waiting for an orange one. And here it is. Uh, come out. So everyone's familiar with Twisby Ecos. They come with the tools to take it apart and silicone grease. Um, it says don't use alcohol on it. I have been waiting for orange. I know there was a transparent orange and there was like an overseas edition orange but I think this is the first like widely released um opaque orange and I'm excited for it I like orange um I've told you before my dad has always liked blue and orange and therefore I've always liked blue and orange and um so anyway I'm excited for this so I want to compare it to some of the other colors just maybe so you can get an idea where it falls um this is the it was just called pink. This is the yellow, standard yellow that came out a few years ago. And this is the saffron, um, the Eco T in saffron. Um, so here hopefully helps you see the colors. Let's see if I can zoom in for you a little bit. Oh, zoom in and in. And maybe that helps. Let's see if I need a little, I don't know. Maybe that helps if you're curious about where the orange kind of falls. It is sort of a bright um, orangey orange. <laughs> I don't know. So uh, yeah, I um, am not going to give you like a tour of the Eco because everyone has seen these. Everyone knows what they are. Um, wonderful, wonderful pens. I have never had personally an issue with any of them cracking. Some people have had cracking issues and they refuse to buy them anymore. I don't know if that comes from over tightening or if that, well, I mean, probably not because most of those people are fountain pen people who I'm sure they're not, they're not being reckless, but I've never had an issue. Um, and I think they're great. I think I want to ink this up after the results of the ink rainbow tag, um, where I shared the, um, data analysis from my spreadsheets. Um, after that video, I added another, well, at least one person's inks to the spreadsheet. Um, you can find a link to that in that video to the spreadsheet, but, um, they also said that Noodler's, um, Southwest Sunset, which mine is old enough to still be Apache Sunset, but, um, was their favorite orange which put this as the most mentioned ink overall. So at least six people have mentioned Noodler's Apache Sunset, Southwest Sunset as their favorite orange. Um, I think somebody maybe put it as sort of their yellow. It doesn't matter. Anyway, no other ink was mentioned six times in all of the videos and, um, and photos that I saw. So, so a couple others were five times but this one just bumped up to six. So I was thinking that I haven't used it in a long time and I think I need to get it into this pen. It looks like a pretty good match to me. Um, the top and the edges are a little bit darker red, like reddish orange. And of course in this bottom of the swatch, there's some yellow, but that sort of middle color looks like it goes really pretty well, pretty well. So that's what I want to ink it up with and we'll do a little writing sample. Let me open up this ink because I don't think I've used this ink for a long time. And um, I did get this pen with a medium nib and I'm actually, I've got some water here. I'm gonna go ahead and just run a little water through it. I don't normally do that. I usually just risk it. <laughs> And, uh, but you know what it is, they do say it's good for your pens for you to go ahead and rinse them before you ink them. So let me do that. I love with Ecos that you can, um, 
use a paper towel or a towel and soak the water out and you can just watch all that water go right out of the feed. It's so satisfying to me. So, okay, that should be most of the water out. And let's ink this guy up. So in the pen, this ink looks very red. Um, not in like the ink in the body in the barrel of the pen is not like an exact match to the orange of the pen. I'm not filling it up all the way, just about uh, like maybe half. And I did have paper towels in here. I'm always doing this. I'm always on videos hunting for something to blot my pens with. All right. So let's get this capped for the moment. Get this capped for sure, because I will spill it. Here, I'll keep it out. And let's do a little writing test. Here's my Hippo Noto. Here was my recent uh, inks that I showed in my data analysis. So if you have not watched that, go check it out. And let's check this one out. This is a Twisby Eco Heat is the color. This has got a medium nib. I ordered mine from Lemur Inc. He's in Indiana and um, um, ships super fast, um, ships free over $20. I highly recommend John at Lemur. I think he's a one-man show, so um, a really great shop to order your Twisbees from. And this ink is Noodler's. I'm going to write Southwest Sunset because the name of it changed. So in writing, for me, this is not a great match. This is kind of what I remember from using this ink the first time. Why do other people's seem oranger, more orange? You know, you would think that this wet nib would be wet enough to show... This was done with a dip nib and a paintbrush. So I just wonder why it doesn't come out wetter, even in a medium nib. But the nib is smooth. Most of the time when I get a Twisby Eco, the nibs are fine. This one feels like either the either I just feel the dryness of the ink or this nib might need just a little bit of smoothing. So I will look at that off camera. There we go. Do you post your ecos or not? I do sometimes. I don't mind a little the feeling of a little back weight on a pen. So I guess I could. Anyway, so there is the new Twisby Eco heat. It is a really great orange. Um, I think this might be my last eco for a good long while. In fact, I have a few that I might sell. So because I just need to back off on that collection. I'm not trying to collect every color. I don't have every color, but I've definitely got more than I need. So if there's a color that you're really looking for, you know, it doesn't hurt to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, might be willing to part. Actually, one person I saw, she was looking for a coral, the coral one, and I just, on a whim, offered her my coral eco tea. So that's not in my collection anymore. Um, but anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you, uh, yeah, will subscribe to my channel if you enjoy these videos. Let me know, are you picking up the heat and what nib size and what ink are you planning to put in there? So, um, Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye. All right, change of plans. I was not enjoying that um, Southwest Sunset ink. Um, it is too yellow, too light, at least for this pen. Um, I'm going to consider putting that one in a cell pile. I don't know. I probably need to put it in one more pen. 
of a different kind. But I mean, I haven't used it in years and in my recollection, I wasn't thrilled with it then. So I don't know if it's something about that I have an older bottle. It looks, there's no, um, there's no grainy anything or, you know, there's nothing growing in it. It's all clean. It smells fine. There's nothing floating around in the bottom or anything. It's, there's nothing wrong with the ink, but, um, I just don't think I like it in this pen at least. So, um, I'm going to switch it out for Robert Oster Campfire Crackle. I have not used this in a pen yet. In fact, I just watched this for the first time today and made a video in which I'll be showing you the whole Robert Oster uh, Campfire, now what's it called? Cozy Comforts collection. Um, look at this ink swirling around in there. There's your little preview. And I think I'm going to try it in here. I think it'll look really good in here. Here is that swatch card. Here's your little preview. Um, it's a it's a redder orange. It's a little bit darker, but um, but I'm gonna give it a shot. You know, uh, shimmer inks tend to do pretty well in these Twisby Ecos. So I hate that the moment you set this down, it starts <laughs> to settle. So I kind of have to psych myself up for like opening the bottle and uh, <laughs> and filling the bin. So here we go. Open, open, because you can't like crack the bottle so that, you know you have to just go with it all right and I'm not going to fill it to the top oh look at that in there it looks awesome all right let me set this down put the lid on this bottle i am kind of uh happy that i'm you know proud that i'm giving you this little oh no all right, everything's okay. Just drop some stuff. Preview of this other video. So, <laughs> all right, let's see how this one writes. So, same pen, same pen. Woo! <laughs> same day. It's literally been like three hours since I filled it with that. And this is Robert Oster. Campfire Crackle. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. Oh, I love this ink already. Okay. Yes, I made a good choice. Look, I know it, like, I mean, it's, it's not a perfect match, you know? Um, look how cool it looks moving around in there. Can you see this? Maybe if I hold it down. I don't know. It's like it doesn't stick to the sides. It's like a lava lamp in there. <laughs> Almost. It looks really neat. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. but um, Okay, this was a good choice. I'm really glad that I cleaned this out. So you can probably, let me see if I can show you close. See that the ink is redder and a little darker. A little actually in the writing it matches pretty well to the pen so listen and I know that I'm being a little uh, I'm a little overkill sometimes when it comes to matching pens and inks or coordinating them but hey why not you know like I know it's not a life or death situation and if I just needed a blue ink then sure I would put a blue ink or whatever in this pen but as long as I can try to match them why wouldn't I so anyway <laughs> thanks for watching uh, I hope you're having a great day and uh, subscribe to my channel for uh, further videos like this one. <laughs> Take care. Bye.